Hi everyone, I'm Michelle. Welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. I don't even know when the last video I made was. I feel like it had to be a good like two and a half months, maybe three months ago. It's definitely been a really long time. It was an unexpected pause again. I feel like it's just been a really difficult season in life and a lot has been happening um i'm not gonna say that i'm officially back to doing one video a week but i'm gonna try i'm gonna try my best and um we'll just see what happens from there but i don't want to make a promise and then not be able to fulfill that so yeah, I'm gonna try to make a video whenever I can and hopefully it ends up being about a video a week again and get me back into that. Um, I really miss doing videos. I love crocheting. I did take a small crochet break though for a bit, um, but I'm back to doing it. So yeah, <laughs> I have been doing markets and they've been a lot of fun. I've done, in the last, I believe, like something like eight weeks, I've done six markets. I took two weeks um, off. And so yeah, it was like three in a row and then another three in a row and it's been intense. <laughs> Definitely a lot of hard work goes into those. I'll probably be doing two more markets in a row. Maybe, maybe not. It depends because the weather is rapidly changing. So yeah, that's basically what it depends on. Um, last Saturday, it was pretty nice though. It was actually kind of windy, but the weather was like 80 I want to say like 85 it was great and then the following day on sunday it was like 98 it was crazy um yeah this wednesday is gonna be 105 so hopefully it cools down by saturday and then i'm gonna keep my eye on next saturday but honestly june july august those are hard months to do outside markets and the only markets around me are outside so yeah, unfortunately, but um, you know what I was thinking, what should I show you guys today? And since obviously I've been crocheting, I have a ton of things, but I've been doing markets. So I, you know, I've been selling them, thank God. Um, and I do have like all my um, plushies in bags all mixed together, my new ones and my old ones. So I have a bag here, or not a bag, I have a little basket <laughs> of just a couple things that I've been working on the last couple days. So I figure we'll start with that. And then um, I have some things around me, maybe I'll grab some of those. This is probably going to be a very short video, just kind of um, being back, but I'm going to try since now it's like, I feel like I, I'm in a place where I can get back to hopefully doing videos again. I'm going to continue to do what I used to do which was separate everything um, as I made them. Uh, I had them separated like every week. Um, I didn't mix them yet into my bag, my market bags is basically what I'm saying. So I'm going to try to keep doing that and hopefully succeed and yeah, we'll have some more videos. Anyways, I have this really, really cute Easter basket. I love it so much and I use it for really random stuff. So I have a couple plushies in here and they, they're not all free patterns. <laughs> I was about to say they're all free patterns. No, they're not. Uh, anyways, let's get started on some random amigurumis that I've been crushing this last week. So I love this Squirtle. I've made Squirtles before, but they were very like chibi versions. Um, where the arms were a little shorter and the, the feet were a little smaller, the tail, it was different. <laughs> I really, really enjoyed this one. And for, if you're like not watching the video, if you're kind of just listening, cause I do that sometimes too with videos, I kind of listen to them and sometimes we'll glance at the screen. But since I'm usually watching videos or I have them playing while I'm crocheting, I don't always watch the screen. Anyways, um, for anyone who's listening, the, 
pattern designer and where you can find the pattern will be at the bottom of the screen and I always do that as I'm showing the plushies so and I I tend to say it out loud as well but it'll be down here for reference so this is a free pattern that I found on YouTube and then I believe there's a paid for version and I think I'm gonna buy it on Etsy because it would be nice to have a PDF um I don't usually work through videos but you know I I felt like you know let's let's try let's work on a video um and I liked it. The pattern designer is, she's really, really great at making the videos. So if you prefer to crochet while watching like the tutorial, this is a really, really good one. And I enjoyed it so much. I'm pretty sure she has more. Um, I follow her on Instagram, but yeah, it's a free YouTube tutorial or paid for PDF pattern on Etsy. The next one is super cute and i don't know his name um but it's a sanrio character really really cute this one is a free pattern on instagram and i loved it i thought it was so cute um i am a little conflicted when i make the sanrio characters though because their eyes typically are ovals so most people when they crochet the characters they'll use felt for the eyes I felt it's not my favorite to work with so sometimes I'll just use the safety eyes even though they're circles not ovals well the ones I have and I think it worked it's super super cute um I enjoyed working on this one I love this type of yarn um as you can see I mostly use acrylic yarn but this is from the Karen one pound yarn and that yarn tends to run a little thicker and I love it that one in Hobby Lobby's um crafter secret yarn so this next one is a paid for pattern I don't remember I think it was her own website but it, it's a Patrick star I love it I love Patrick love Spongebob I grew up on it um I think they might still be like airing new episodes. I don't know. I stopped watching it years ago, but definitely holds special place in my heart because the, these are my childhood characters that I grew up with. So actually I showed this years ago when I um, came back from Florida, but yeah, I brought this giant Patrick from Florida. He had to come home with me. So I made a couple of these and I just think they're so cute. I did different expressions and different flower like embroidery. Um, it does take a little bit of time, like a little bit longer than you would expect. And I think for me, that's because of the embroidery. It takes me a little bit longer, but I have fun with it. And I thought it was really, really cute. He has little bobble stitch arms and I was thinking of putting arms like this on him obviously a little like sized down a little smaller just so they stick out more but he's really cute this is the way it's on the pattern and yeah bobble stitches are obviously faster to make than arms like that and then having to sew them on but he's so cute so really really love him and then the pattern for this one includes a little hat so you know when he works at the Krusty Krab you can have his little hat too um then I have a free pattern on Instagram and this is a little stingray pattern I just made three because I finished up this yarn and I had a little scrap ball left so I made three stingrays and I think they're so cute I love this for um getting rid of scrap balls and <laughs> scrap yarn I also I'll use my scrap yarn if it's small like really small I'll use it like in stuffing if it's a decent size I use it to um actually I used to make snakes with it and I need to make another one I kept saying that but I keep using my scrap yarns for things like this and then I don't end up with a big enough size but I used to make um scrap yarn snakes and they look pretty pretty cool um that's all I had in this basket I do have a couple plushies here so maybe I'll just like randomly show you guys um I guess <laughs> I had this chicken 
I love this. So I had this two skeins of this yarn and it's a really really thick yarn and I had no idea what to make with it because I only had two skeins they were small skeins too like this size like small but thick and so it does it didn't have a lot of yarn so what I ended up doing was just making two or I think I made three of these chickens but I only have two with me and I love them this is the same um chicken that's I forgot what it's called, but it's a very, very popular chicken pattern that everyone makes and they come out really cute. Oh, you know what? This is the same pattern, but with really, really thin yarn. So literally the magic of what yarn sizes and hook sizes can do. Same pattern, but this is like with three weight yarn. And then this is like super bulky yarn. So that's just a fun um, pattern that I really enjoy. This is a paid for pattern. I think it's called the Mabel chicken pattern, but like everyone makes that pattern. I love it. It's a lot of fun to do. And, um, yeah, that one has minimal sewing too. So it's a fun one to make. Um, that's probably going to be it for this video. I know it was super, super short, but I just wanted to, you know, make a video so that way I could get myself back on track because I feel like coming back from a break is always, it's a little hard to do because I'm like, well, what am I going to show? I, I feel like I don't have enough things to show you guys. So I just wanted to push myself to do it and hopefully um, I'll continue to do that and I'm going to keep this basket and I'll put I'm going to keep putting in my new projects in that basket so I can have them separated and off to the side for hopefully next week's video, which will be better in length. Um, yeah, I love, love doing farmer's markets, like I said, but they are so much work. Um, I really enjoy it and I'm going to try to aim for two who knows i'm gonna keep you guys updated though i know even the tough thing is though when the weather is changing and if it's hot outside it doesn't matter if i'm out there selling there's not customers because who wants to be in the heat anyways so i'm gonna try to figure it out and i'm gonna take a break from markets no matter what because of the weather um so probably one or two more markets and then I'll take my break. I'll continue crocheting, but markets will not be back until probably the end of the year again. It's always tricky because I, I just can't seem to find indoor events locally. Um, but yeah, I love just talking to people and the environment of markets. So yeah <laughs> anyways that's gonna be it for this video thank you so much for joining me sorry again about the break but i'm glad to hopefully be back and hopefully i can see you guys next week and um i'm gonna try to do some more little videos again but i'm not promising we'll just see what happens so i'll see you guys next time bye